sir. Um, there's still questions, obviously, circulating. Uh, you know, obviously, you want to leave when your stock is highest. You know, there are a lot of concerns. So, in my mind, it wasn't a good decision. So, staying this year, proving myself, proving my worth, proving my health is good. You know, that's the decision I ultimately decided to make with my family. Have, have you had you talked to Russell Okung or reached out to him or aware of the situation? No, no, sir, I haven't. What, what would you say helped your stock? I mean, how, without getting too specific, how much do you think you can, based on what you were told, what you think your potential is, how much can you improve your stock? And was that the biggest reason because you thought you could improve it a great deal as to why you would come back, one of the reasons why? I think one of the reasons I came back is I didn't play as well as I wanted to this year. I think I left a lot on the table, a lot of mistakes, a lot of bad plays. Um, thing about offensive line, you got to be consistent. I mean, I could have 20 players where I'm on somebody, but if I have about five where I'm getting beat, I'm on the ground, I'm losing balance, you know, in my mind, it's not a good game. That's not where I want to be in my level of, game, level of play. Excuse me. So how do you attack it this year knowing what the plan is and how the medical plan works? How, how can you improve your stock if you're not practicing a great deal more in terms of contact? How do you go about what's the plan for you not medically, but what's the plan for you to get better, given now you know how to manage the medical thing? Yeah, to get my body at the best level and best way it's ever been. You know, just make sure I'm losing the weight, eating correctly, getting stronger in every facet I can. But I think the main uh, piece that we're missing is just the mental processing, just staying in the film room, living in there, meeting with Coach Chaney. Um, be the first year I'll ever be under an offense system for two years in a row. So, you know, that's a, that's a big benefit and a big plus. We're going to see where that leads. You know, beginning of the season, I also try to figure out what we did on this play, you know, trying to rely on BK as a crutch, you know, a lot of times. Now this year, I'm coming in, I can almost make the clears as well. So, you know, it's just a, it's a development thing, like, like uh, even Coach Pruitt mentioned. It's a developmental position, and with that, just the mental processing just has to be that much more higher. In the sure. Were you able to find out how comparable your plan at Tennessee that worked so well for you this year is to how they would manage it in the NFL? Um, uh, essentially, it's just going to be the same plan, you know, uh, whatever team decides. And if that opportunity presents itself, whatever they do decide, that's what we're going to go through with. Um, once again, just, you know, this year is going to be proving myself. Just sticking to that, and, you know, it's sort of like one of those things where when that time comes, we'll cross that bridge when it gets there. So. You, said, you said you didn't tell many people. Did you tell any of your teammates before you, you walked in here today? I really don't think so, <laughs> man. I was just, <laughs> Did you tell them beforehand that you weren't gonna you weren't gonna let anybody know until you announce it? Yeah, most uh, pretty much everybody doesn't know. Yeah, the only people who knew were the media people who were helping me, and I want to give a special thanks to them because without without them, this would be very hard. Take one more, guys. You, you mentioned answers. that you mentioned that you know we we ask you this all the time, you know, throughout the season about the uh, NFL draft and the process and everything, and you would often say, you know, I'm not thinking about it moving on. But how much did this decision weigh on you throughout the entire season? Not at all. <laughs> um, my high school coach, Mickey Marley, man, he's a wise man and uh, a great figure in my life. You know, when I was getting recruited in high school, he used to say, man, don't worry about all that stuff. You still got to play on Friday night. So why would I worry about the NFL on Sundays when I'm still playing on Saturday? I got blocked the street tag, you know. And that's sort of a mentality I've always got from him. Worry about what's in front of you. A fool's going to look to the future and not worry about what's in front of him in the present. Uh, you may have already answered this, but when did you kind of come to the final decision and when did you officially know? And was there maybe coming to Jesus kind of moment, so yeah. to speak? Uh, like three or four days ago, you know, I guess it's official. Uh, I already had the seeds in my mind. I wanted to come back here. I want to be great. I want to leave a legacy at Tennessee. I love this university. I love the people. So, But, you know, coming back, it was ultimately a business decision as well because you, you have to take that into account. It's business at that level. Thanks, Trey. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Trey. Thanks for coming.